Hi everyone, my name is Gustavo Barahona. I'm the seed growth specialist for Southern Alberta. Today I wanted to talk to you about Raxel Pro, its benefits and packaging. Raxel Pro offers superior disease protection against seed and soil borne diseases. It is available to the market in three different packaging sizes, 10 liter jug, 58.5 liter tote, and 175.5 liter tote. At a standard application rate of 325 milliliters per 100 kg of seed, you will be able to find your application rates in your Bayer Crop Protection Guide. So I'm here this morning with Matt Stamp, co-owner of Stamp Seed. Before you begin treating seed, you want to make sure that you mix up your Raxel Pro thoroughly, so then you get good coverage on all your seeds. You can either mix with a drill, or you can use a recirculating pump and mix. I'll show you here with the drill. So for, uh, for mixing with the drill, remove your little cap on your drop tube for your mixer and then insert your drill and then you want to mix for two minutes. So you can mix that for two minutes or the other way that you can do it, you can hook up with your agitation or recirculating pump. So you have your feed line that gets hooked up to your extraction tube which is the black one and connect that one and then you have your return line which gets hooked up to your gray cap on the top and then just also make sure that you vent your your tote so just remove the little cap off the agitation and now you can turn your pump on and make sure you mix for two minutes to get it all thoroughly mixed if you are adding stress shields the insecticide into the tote there is room in the tote so you can transfer it in and you'll want to do the exact same steps, but you want to mix for eight minutes. So I'm here with Greg Stamp, co-owner of Stamp Seed. And every year we get questions around treating outside and what environmental concerns uh, we would have and the impact this would cause on our seed treatments. Ideally, we'd like to have full coverage of seed treatment on the whole surface of the seed. So I'll get Greg to explain a little bit more how different varieties and different conditions outside might affect this. Sure. Uh, so when you're looking at a seed that you're treating, is your coverage level equal across all the seeds? And is that coverage level even across the individual seed itself? So we're looking for both of those things, the whole lot and the individual seed itself. If you've got a, a product that's a little bit maybe dustier or difficult to treat, like say maybe a triticale, barley or rye, you know, look at this, you can see there's a few seeds that are darker red, some that are lighter. So I wanna see even treatment loading that's uh, more even across every seed and then each seed itself evenly coated as well. And a lot of that can be achieved through slowing down your seed treater, adding a little bit of more water to your treatment, but that's not always necessary. You've got something like wheat, it's you know definitely a little bit less dusty than something like a rye or a barley. So often with rye or barley, we may have to slow down a little bit so we get more tumbling action to mix the treatment on the seed better uh, before it hits the truck. Temperature is important as well. So when we're doing like the wintertime type treating, obviously see uh, the warmer the better in the winter time but say it's minus five you know what temperature is your seed is the seed um, you know is your seed minus 10 or is your seed plus 10 degrees Celsius if it's plus 10 that's perfect you know because then we can actually go and get that treatment on the seed to a good temperature so that even if it is minus five outside it can hit that truck and and still be warm enough not to flake off as badly as if it was quite a bit colder or the seed was cold as far as treatment temperatures as well, is your treatment from a warm building or is that treatment coming, you know, is it stored in a cold warehouse? Mm -hmm. And that impacts the flowability and how it sticks to that seed in, you know, maybe uh, off season type treating situations. And droplet size, you know, what type of droplet size and how is that secondary mixing actually happening? Tumbling drum, augers, things like that. We find that uh, when you slow down that tumbling drum or slow down the whole treating process, you get more time for that seed to actually contact other seeds to get an even coverage. So guess a lot of farmers are wanting to do more treating in the fall and winter time to avoid some logistics challenges and get seed home treated ready to go. Mm -hmm. What are some tips you can give us and farmers for doing that? There is no issues treating in fall. We actually would recommend it to make your operation logistically efficient. We strongly suggest to keep that seed in a dry place and also to do a germ test in the springtime to ensure maximum viability of that seed. So Gus, if I've got some leftover seed that we didn't use this spring, what are the best tips you would give me for storing that seed and maybe using it again the next spring? Can I do that? 
it's okay to carry over seed from one season to the next as long as we got good coverage and that seed is properly stored in a dry place. So Greg, every season we get questions around equipment. Is there anything that you'd like to share with us? Sure, so when we're treating seed, we wanna make sure that the, the seed is flowing around your treatment apparatus well. So that means regular checks to make sure there's no dust buildup. If you do have dust in your grain, that can cause you more problems. You wanna check that the seed is flowing properly so that you get even coverage on the seed with the seed going properly around your treatment apparatus. Mm -hmm. As far as filters, you wanna make sure that your, your chemical filters are not being plugged. Are they functioning properly? Do you have the right amount of chemical going through those filters? Or are they restricting the chemical flow a little bit? And then calibration. Have you calibrated your treater per 100 kgs of seed? Not just bushels, but actual weight of seed you're treating. So just know what you're putting on.